Hi guys, instead of spamming the forums with bug reports, I decided to share an idea for Maca this time. It's quite easy to add backgrounds to an element in Maca, but sometimes it would be faster to have more manual control instead of adding a background through, through a slider. So when I add a background, I need to slide these position fields or type uh, numeric values and instead what I could do would be to just for example take an image out of the library and let's see what I need here is a nice image and now uh, do you remember that feature in Photoshop or Illustrator when you click an image, then click some shape and create a mask. Well, Maca doesn't need any masks, but what it could use is some kind of shortcut which would embed the image into that element, that div. So that image would stop being an image uh, in HTML and in instead it would morph into background position and at exactly that uh, at exactly that position so after clicking that shortcut you would end up in something like that okay so here's one which is already using a background and you know if now I can adjust it but it's for me it's easier to adjust it on the canvas instead of adjusting like I said numeric values or sliders and stuff like that or using repeat so what it could do because I've noticed that now every image you create starts with um, with re repeat turned on so you actually have to turn it off well if you would use that image and embed it into the background the repeat buttons could be already checked off and we don't have to stop at embedding one image into the background what we can do is actually select a couple of images and one element and we can also hit some kind of a shortcut and embed all these images at their respective positions and then if some images would require to be repeated we do just that and it could lo look like something like this for example I want to have an image on the background here and I want to merge that white background with with that gray area below and I of course I could do that with some gradient but I also can do it in a more interesting way so let's see this image would be nice here and what I'm trying to do here is like positioning this image outside of that element so if that would be converted to a background it would have negative values and I would also like that raster to be somewhere here and repeat it and it would be nice if I could just select that image that one and select the element behind them and of course hit some kind of shortcut and what it could do would be uh, I mean the end result would look like this so let's see it's a nice element with two backgrounds one has negative value and is not repeated 
and of course the second one is repeated but it's easier to just open that panel and click repeat once instead of choosing image from library positioning it x y and stuff like that so that's my idea i hope you like it and i'm interested in what you guys think about it and what the community thinks okay guys thanks for watching